But don't stop at the glamour side of the city, as Nice has different facets worth exploring. Such as the old quarter where you'll find the Cour Salea market, a flower and fruit vegetable market which opens daily except on Monday. At Cour Salea market I spotted several fruits and vegetables I was unfamiliar with, like the kumquat, a bite-side fruit with a big burst of sweet tart citrus flavor, Mediterranean fruits and vegetables, typical foods and bites from Nice. Unfortunately, I didn't spot the famous zucchini flower as it wasn't the season yet. What I did try and love was the soca and pizza ladière. The soca is a savory pancake made with chickpeas flowers and vegan. Surprisingly, it tasted like a tasty sausage to me, but my friend didn't really agree. The pizza ladière, an onion pie slash pizza, was also a delicious treat to my senses. Normally it's also served with anchovies and olives, but mine didn't have anchovies. Make sure they slightly warm it up as it tastes even better that way. And let's not forget the salade niçoise, one of the most known local dishes. If you want to get one of the best panoramic views of Bella Nisa, make sure to visit Castle Hill. The name might be misleading as there is no castle up there. Climb the stairs or use the free elevator to get to the top. Once you arrive, admire the view of Nice, the Azure Sea and the city's landmarks like Hotel Negresco and the port to the east.
If you continue to climb, you'll be in for a treat, as there's an adorable park where you can go with your kids, or even for a morning workout routine. On the other side, you'll find another magnificent panoramic view of the city. If you only have 24 hours to spend in Nice or want to see the highlights in a quick glance, I definitely recommend the Hop On Hop Off bus. If you don't get off, you'll see everything in one hour and a half. One thing I would definitely invest in during a stay in Nice is the French Riviera Pass, which allows you to participate in this bus for free, while it would normally cost you 23 euros. You can also visit numerous museums, do an old city tour, visit Nice on the Segway, and much more. A French Riviera Pass starts at 26 euros, and I'll leave the link below in the description box. The old city center offers a colorful and architectural contrast to the modern glamour seaside walks. Start at Place Massena, an expansive square that is surrounded by several shops and a street with only restaurants. One of the highlights definitely were the seven large luminous sculptures shining in the sky above the square at night. They were created by Jean Plensa, a Spanish artist, and symbolize the colorful conversations they're having. Walking in Old Nice will make you feel as if you're in Italy, which makes sense given the city's history. Even at night you can walk around, have an ice cream and admire the sculptures and the vibrant fountain show right next to the square. Did you know the dish Ratatouille is from Nice? I didn't, so imagine my surprise when I found out. Nice's local cuisine is rich and filled with vegetables, making it very healthy. One restaurant that I would absolutely recommend is La Rossi Tisserie. 
don't let its tiny size fool you, as these are usually the hidden culinary gems that surprise you with the excellence of their food. Highly praised on TripAdvisor, La Rossi Tesserie is located in the old quarter of Nice. I had their vegetarian dish, which was made of ratatouille, mashed potatoes and oven-baked potatoes. It looked so simple, yet it was delicious. And to finish it off, I had their pistachio creme brulee, which was divine. If you want to feed your eyes and mind, visit Musée Matisse. Nice was home to many renowned artists we know today, such as Matisse, Chagall and Raoul Duffy, who came here and were inspired by Promenade des Anglais. The seaside walks charm. You can view Matisse's work at the Matisse Museum, which offers a small selection of his work. Before you leave, stop by the museum shop as it has unique gifts that you can buy as a souvenir. If you're more into contemporary art, visit the Contemporary Art Museum located at the Yves Klein Square. The collection is diverse, colorful, and it even features information on Niki de saint Fal, the artist whose work you can admire at the front of Le Negresco Hotel. Make sure you walk all the way to the top. During the day it offers a beautiful panoramic view of the city, which reminded me of Lisbon in a way. Both the Museum Matisse and the Contemporary Art Museum are free to visit if you have a French Riviera Pass. When you walk on the Promenade des Anglais, you'll easily spot Le Negresco Hotel from afar. It was even our visual reference point. With its white facades and pink roof, Le Negresco exudes old charm and at night its colors stand out even more. Even though I didn't go inside, this 5-star luxury hotel is said to have a large collection of arts and antique furniture. Although Coursalia Market is definitely a must-see and visit for travelers, Locals mostly go to the Marché de la Libération to shop for fruits, vegetables and more. I wasn't that impressed, but in the future they will open the food and culture market Denise right next to it, which will offer food, dining options and more. This future hotspot is inspired by Covent Garden in London and Time Out Market in Lisbon. So even though I wouldn't recommend it for now, keep it in mind when it opens.
What I loved about Nice is that it's a perfect starting point for a French Riviera adventure. You can easily combine your stay with a day trip to Cannes, Monaco, Monton, Antibes and much more. In another video I'll show you the highlights of 24 hours in Monaco and Monton, two destinations located close to Nice. We took the train which was quick and affordable. So make sure to tune in next time to see what I discovered in Monton and Monaco. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, like and share this video with your friends. Thanks again and see you next time.